to come out onto the playing field. Just imagine this leads Beckett side, champions of this competition in 2015. And here they come right now to a, you know, a polite round of applause. Very much, very much golf applause, you would argue. Just like somebody's just made a par putt at the, at the 14th of St Andrews. That's what they've come out to, but it's a welcome reception all the same. Remember this lead side, remember they were champions in 2015. Yes, correct. Premier North champions the same year and the year before that. This Cardiff Met team, runners of the Vars in uh, 2015. And Premier South champions of 2012-13 and the runners up of the championship in 2012-13 as well. The lead side in purple and black. And Cardiff will be playing in their red, yellow and blue strips. So waiting for play to get underway just a couple of minutes late. But we're ready all the same. This Cardiff team with a Cardiff Met team with a big win last week. They're the ones with the wind in their sails before they set foot on this field. And they'll be the ones who will get us underway. George Simpson gets us underway. Collected by Josh Longson, who's the Leeds Beckett captain. Clark. Harry Collier for the looping pass out wide. It's Charlie Venables, who's dumped to the ground. And the chance of an early turnover here for the Cardiff side. But Leeds hold their ground. And the left boot sent downfield. And it's a good collection from Cardiff, who launch a counter-attack of their own with Ashley Taylor. Taylor looking for options left and right. Good tackle there from Martin Dodds. Picked up by Williams. Simpson. Williams again. Out to Simpson, the ex-Harlequins player. This is number 15, Oliver Glass, who's, who's the man who can run through the gears very quickly for this Cardiff Met team. Simpson. Etheridge. The veteran of the Cardiff Met side. Williams. And that's a little bit of a juggling act taken there by number 12, Jack Wright. And advantage still being played here as Leeds Beckett have the uh, possession, but not for long. And we'll come back for that first putting of the day. A flawless start from both these sides. Full of energy and full of running. Can they keep it up? For the 80 minutes ahead of us in this time where the sun's trying to burst through the clouds here in Headingley. As it will be Alex Clark who has the put in. Good, good scrum from Cardiff. And they've put, they have put pressure on, on the Leeds Beckett side from the off here. Clark. Kick downfield by Collier. Up high into the sky, into the sunshine. Bit of a juggling act and it's picked up by Joshua Paul. And Leeds concede the penalty. And a chance for an attacking opportunity here from the team from the Principality. So Simpson with possession in hand, looking to send this one down into the 22. Off the roof of the stand. And just shy of the 22, it goes. So first chance to see the set piece from the Cardiff point of view and first chance to see Ryan Roach's darts from the touchline. Bit of encouragement from one of the coaching staff as he uh, grabs the towel. We have had a little bit of rain here this morning. 
Just a, a shower. But the ball has been knocked forward there and we'll have a, another chance for Leeds to clear their lines from the scrum. So three and a half minutes down. Clark with the putting once more. Cardiff are the ones who have been putting the pressure on. In this opening period of the game. And we'll restart once more. For take two. Clark with the putting. Again, good scrum from Cardiff. Putting Clark under pressure. But now a chance for Leeds to launch an attack of their own, and they may do. On the wide outside. It takes a good tackle, that was from Alan Evans, to bring down Ollie Hudson. Still in Leeds possession as they come towards the right-hand side with McElwain. McElwain out to Venables. Venables with a little bit of a drop, but still in Leeds' hands as it went backwards. But the touch judge spotted it went forwards, and it will be Cardiff who will have the putt in from the scrum to, to clear their lines. But danger there from the home side of what they can do on the break. Cheers, buddy. Again. No, it was OK. He played the ball away. I can see. A speedy first period of this first half. Welcomely warmed by the, the few we have here at Headingley for this tie. Now then, what can Benjamin Williams do with this putting? Been a good strong scrum from, uh, from Cardiff. And in again. Picked up by Evans. Jack Wright, the fresher going to ground. That's good counter rocket from, from Leeds. And may have turned it over. No, they haven't. Picked up by Ryan Roach. And uh, they can see the penalty and be a chance to, for Cardiff to get into the Leeds half. And Simpson looks to send this one downfield. And he nearly, hit, nearly hits one of our cameraman. I think he hits one of the analysts in one of the gantry boxes next to us. Hopefully they're insured. As there will be a line out on the halfway line. Roach unsuccessful with his uh, first line out. Let's see if he gets on the second one this time. The ball's been found from our, our colleagues in the, uh, in the analyst box. So Roach right down the halfway line here, right underneath my commentary position. Let's see. This one down the eye of the needle, drifts away, but it did go backwards, but picked up by Josh, Josh Longson of Leeds. Alex Clark. Little dink forward from Harry Collier, looking to find the corner here. The bounce was not in his favour and sent back down Leeds way, but a good take that was from Johnny Kay. McElwain with a little, spots a little bit of gap and that is an excellent kick into the Cardiff Met 22. And he'll be delighted with his efforts there as the ex-Heineken Cup player. Good start from both of these teams. Can they keep it up for the full 80 minutes? Roach, third time lucky from the line. And again, it's with a knock on advantage to come there from, from Leeds. So Cardiff will have a chance to clear their lines one way or the other here.
Box kick downfield. The bounce cap catches out Hudson there. So it's been very much a territorial battle in this first first 10 minutes or so between both these sides and the first chance we can see Harry Newborn how's his arrows from the sideline and then another line out loss between these sides that's something they're going to need to look at during this tie and now Cardiff looking to launch a counter attack of their own and a little dig downfield but into the throat of Charlie Venables Venables with a box kick high into the sky a couple of men under it Venables went for it himself Instead, picked up by Alad Evans. Ball comes out loose again. It's a little bit scrappy all of a sudden in the last minute or so. Simpson. Right. Williams looking to his left and he uses Simpson. Down with Oliver Glass. Williams, Simpson, Wright, Ryan Roach, the captain, gaining a few feet. Simpson, out onto the right hand side. Bradbury, Bradbury looking for a little bit of room and he's, he's got it as well, but he, has he got any help? He needs some help and he may get it. Or he's going to go all over himself all the way. What a run from Callum Bradbury! And the first try of the game! Callum Bradbury, the Cardiff Met scorer, a great run from inside his own half. And he scores the opening try of this afternoon tie. Well, it's been a little bit scrappy in this first 10 minutes. And a little bit relentless, but it's Cardiff who have got their, their reward. As Morgan looks to add the extras, and he does. So Cardiff Mets with the lead, seven points to nil, ten minutes into this first half. Carrying on from where they left off seven days ago. So how can this Leeds Met side respond? Collier with the restart. Clark, but it looks like we've got a bit of an injury there. And uh, anguish of pain came out on one of the Cardiff players on the ground and it's holding his arm, just trying to see one that is but he seems to be in a, in a little bit of pain hopefully it's nothing too serious So seven points to the lead, Callum Bradbury, the uh, scorer. Cardiff Met. Oh, I think this is going to be a definite substitution for the away side. Trying to stretch it out, so just and hopefully, you might be able to continue. There's a few cries of pain coming on this Cardiff Met player. Over 
The five acts, Don Brat, and well, a few anguishes a uh, minute ago, and looked like he would be uh, going off with an arm injury, but it seems the magic spray has done its business. Back into the scrum he goes. It's Cardiff. Front eight. Picked up by Alan Evans. They're going to come back. For penalty and there'll be a chance to Leeds to get their name on the score sheet here. And reduce the arrears to four points. They're right in front of the posts and that might be the prudent call. A point in indeed. What they're going for. Okay, can't argue with it, guys. Okay, it's an unusual one, but we can't argue with it. Just stay in now. So, McAlwain, this to reduce the deficit to just four points. Just in front of the 22 on a little bit of an angle. Sends it on its way and through the two posts it goes. And the deficit has been reduced to four points. Leeds are on the scoreboard. They are still chasing Cardiff though by seven points to three. Simpson restarts. Picked up by Josh Longson, who describes as a jack of all trades in the lead side. Under pressure there from Ryan Roach, as well as being picked up though by Alan Evans. Evans, Benjamin Williams, Glass, Wainwright. Good tackle there from Ben Dixon to stop him in his tracks. Still in card of possession with Simpson. The red boots of Evans. Out wide, good pick up by Bradbury. Bradbury looking for a double on the day. And he made his keeping strong, but did he put that into touch? Yes, he did. Come to our touch judge. And leads off the chance to clear from inside the own 22. Big pressure, no big pressure on this line up. Get people up, get people up. <laughs> Here we go, pressure on now, come on! System two, system two! So Roach. Play to aim at. Out, but we picked up by Leeds and can they launch an attack from inside there on 22. Trying to put this card team under pressure, they'll win a penalty and they send this ball downfield. A chance for them to gain an attack and set pace from inside the Leeds half. This one looks like being sent our way towards the commentary area. Indeed it has been. But thankfully, not towards our way. On the halfway line is where Leeds have advanced. Three points to seven. Score between the two sides. New ball. Excellent, excellent tech. Clark. Dixon. McAlway in a way. Two men to beat though. He needs a little bit of help. He's going to go himself, is he? Good bit of help on the left hand side. Gonna be a chance here for Venables. Venables. Just over the line. Is he there? Is he there? No, it's a touch. 
good spot there from the touch judge on the far side. Cardiff with last gasp defending. And maybe Johnny Kay, who might be wearing a different shirt and the looks of things. Yeah, and 14 on our sheets. Looks like he was the one who was going for the corner. No chance for Cardiff to need to clear their lines. But to the line out down. there. And maybe it will be Cardiff will have a chance to clear from on there. deep inside their own half. Halfway through this first half, seven points to three, the away side lead. As a little bit of Yorkshire drizzle comes down here in the Headingley area of Leeds. in this line out. Longson for Leeds Beckett. Thundering hit from Xavier Valentine. Barnard. Clark. Collier. Hold off, Ben! Get in, get in! Clark again to the right side. Reading. Longson. Engine towards the 22. Clark. Newborn. Collier. McElwain. Clark again comes to, to his left hand side. Collier trying to sell the dummy. Ball comes out and loose and now back in card in possession as they look to launch the counter attack. Ball kicked up field, and this is now greasy service as this drizzle becomes a little bit heavier, and it did affect Charlie Venables, and now it becomes a foot race. But the ball was knocked forward, and Leeds will have the put the put in at the scrum. Relief there for the uh, Leeds Beckett side. Yeah, as you can see, Charlie Venables just misjudging the bounce there, and the surface is becoming a little bit more greasy now, as this drizzle becomes a bit of a heavy shower. Every time I've been to Headingley on the other side of the stadium watching the uh, the cricket, it's uh, usually standard of a uh, of an England Test day. At least one bit of rain, but another chance for everybody to catch their breath. An exciting first period of this uh, Buck Super Rugby tie. This Cardiff team who were victorious last week against Northumbria by 58 points to 16. They'll be heading up to up the northeast in a couple of weeks' time. Just imagine we're in Bath in seven days' time. So it'll be. Clark with the put in once more. Free kick given. Raymond. So Raymond comes very heavy now here. Leeds, but it's going to be a passing shower. Clark. Penalty for Leeds. And a chance for them to launch this one downfield into the Cardiff half. And the little breeze that we have here today is in their faces at the moment, as that ball has probably landed on the... Uh, it's just landed on the roof and stayed on the roof, in fact, so we're going to need another, another ball. From McElway. So 
So new ball. Sends this one. And he goes long with it. But again, picked up by the Cardiff number seven, Joshua Poole. Both players are failing to hit the treble 20 with their arrows. Here they're landed in the five and the one right now. And both hookers. Something no doubt both benches have, uh, have spotted. Penalty to Cardiff. This sending this one back from whence it came. Just into the Cardiff half. A few people have been wrapped up warm and the, uh, the stand's got a bit chilly here actually in the, uh, the last hour or so. His attempt this time round. A lot better this time. Spots Alad Evans. Jack Wright, the young fresh of the team of the team. Williams. Williams going to his right hand side and uses Simpson. Simpson, little chip shot forward. Bounces into touch and will put the, the Leeds line out under pressure. again. Penalty to lead and then another chance to clear that line. Just looking at our, our stats here right now. And both sides have lost a couple of line outs each so far in this first 25 minutes or so. And it's Cardiff for the ones who's had much of the possession in this first half, 52 to 48 as well. Seen plenty in this first 25 minutes. Newborn and Roach have been tested. No way to rely on now. Leads on the break. Little chip forward this time from Alex Clark. Clark against his opposite number, Williams. Williams picks up inside the, the 22, but he's under pressure. Needs the reinforcements to come. And he's held strong there, to his credit. Cardiff has slowed the game down inside their own 22. in to touch once more and it's been very much a territorial battle a few feet here a few feet there kick down field kick, kick down there it's very much been plan a from both sides Taken this time from Leeds and hand picked up. And a chance for them. Here to get on the, get on the score sheet and put Cardiff under pressure, who you would argue have had much of this first 26 minutes or so, but again, Leeds concede the penalty. And that's up to four apiece now as well. So both teams making errors. Let's go. Yeah, workmanlike from both sides in, in, this, in this tie. Just the one converted score from Cardiff Met for all their endeavours in this first half hour or so and leads with just, just that penalty to their name. And possession more or less nearly 50 50 now as well, so. Been an interesting tussle. Very much a game of chess, you would argue. In these two above these sides. Trying to sense each other out. That one 
run from inside his own half from uh, Callum Bradbury as this rain gets much heavier now. Typical good old rugby weather, this. Loose pass up, picked up one-handed by Bradbury, who's done well. Tackled by Nick Ridding. Evans, again out wide and loose and kicked out of play by Ashley Taylor. But we're going to come back for an earlier infringement. Clark puts it once more. As you can hear the rain above the corrugated iron that we're in in the gantry here. You can hear that. If your speakers at home, you can just sense how heavy it's become here all of a sudden. I must say it wasn't forecast when I uh, was looking at the weather last night. Sunshine for most of the day, but it's the microclimate that Leeds have here. As Leeds concede the penalty, Leeds Beckett and Cardiff will go for goal with their number 13, Thomas Morgan. So Morgan, this to take the lead to seven points. Sends it on its way into the heart of the goal and Cardiff lead by seven. Ten points to three they lead. Five points coming from the boot of Thomas Morgan. So 10 minutes to go in this first half. Leeds 3, Cardiff 10. Still a long, long way to go. Now what can the 2015 champions, how can they capitalise? Can they get back into this tie? And like a score between now and the end of the, uh, of the half. But conditions have really got really poor here in, Le in Leeds over the last 10, 15 minutes. The ball's come very greasy all of a sudden. The surface is really slippery. Both these teams are going to uh, adapt to this Yorkshire weather. Leeds with the penalty for the tackler not rolling away. So, chance for them to send this one downfield. We've seen a lot of penalties in this first half as well. Something that both sets of benches will look to try and Stop giving giving away in this uh, in the second half. And that's not going to get to touch. A chance to the counter back, but a good tackle that was from the number eleven. It says Ollie Hudson on my team sheet, but I think that might be Johnny K. Excellent tackle it was too. Leeds line out inside the Cardiff half. Eight minutes or so to play and change in this half. But again, the line out is loose and very, very much scrappy. And there has been much of this first half, but it was picked up by Jack Barnard. And now Leeds on the front foot with McElwain. Dancing on one tackle on another. Clark. Out wide. Raymond. Two men to his right hand side, but he goes to ground and picked up by the scrum half, Alex Clark. Collier. Martin Dodds inside the Cardiff 22. Looking for reinforcements on the left-hand side. They go right instead. Barnard. Trying to fish this ball out. Picked up by the number one, Roy Mason. Collier.
penalty to Leeds. And the referee's going to be having a word with uh, one of the Cardiff Met sides, so we'll have no more of that. Hands in the rook. And another chance to kick a goal to Sadiuri is back to four points from the boots of David McElwain. So McAlwain, this to send leads to a four point deficit. It's a little bit low, hit like a two iron and it's missed on the left hand side of the upright. So still seven the gap with around seven or so minutes left to play. Cardiff, restart. Down the throat of Charlie Venables. Longson. Tipped away by Jack Wright and picked up by Kay. Good tackle there by Miles Morehouse. And the ball comes out loose again. Just more evidence of how difficult the conditions have become over the last 15 minutes or so. Cardiff just inching their way forward. Slowly and slowly, Williams. Box kick. Not much room to work with. But taken by Longson. And again, it's a bit of a juggling act, and Bradby was there to try and capitalise, but it's still picked up and still in Leeds. Possession great again, come on, out loose and scrappy. And Cardiff had the penalty, and they've taken it quickly. Look at the smelling blood. But a juggling act by Alid Evans. And much to his dismay, it's knocked forward and Leeds will have the chance to clear their lines. Well, you'd argue maybe opportunity wasted there from Cardiff to go 10 clear. But you can't stop them from their, their en endeavour. Evans it was with the, jug with the juggling act. That concedes the knock-on penalty. Scrum, I do beg your pardon, for the home side. A couple of changes being made in the uh, Nick Ridding and Courtney Raymond going off the field. So for the end of the uh, first half. Thunderous hit that was. I think they could they could hear that one in Bradford. There was, it was that thunderous on a clock. So we'll have to have to take two for this Leeds Beckett side. I think I did hit the window at a clock a little there. Three minutes or so left to play. Just give you a, a indication our clock is only an approximate. We go on the referee's whistle. Penalty to Cardiff, and now a chance to really double their advantage here and send their arrears for Leeds into double figures. And that's what they are intending to do as we approach half time here. And Morgan is going to go for goal to give the team from the Principality a 10 point lead.
Morgan ends at the right post, draws it in beautifully, and Cardiff lead by 10. Taken up from where they left off last week against that Northumbria side. And they put to the sword there and lead to be the ones who are chasing this game as we approach half time. Evans, Simpson, down the throat of the lead number 11. Goes for a look running as well, beats one man, doesn't get past the second though. Still in the home side's possession. This is Toby Francis who's come on the field. And he's done well, he's gained, he's gained a good 5-10 metres there. Low pass though from Clark. Collier does grab it in his bread basket and retains possession. Roy Mason. Barnard. For Menno, but there's only three on the right-hand side right now, but Cardiff remaining strong. Trying to stop Leeds in their tracks here. I'm doing a decent job of it right now, slowing the game down. Valentine picks it up. Clark. Francis. Clark again. Collier. Goes to ground. Apologies for any language you may have heard there. Okay. Losing possession. Cardiff could really pick up a nice little bonus here before the end of this first half. A thundering hit launched into touch as we approach half time here at Haddingley. Then the referee has indication that it uh, is the last player this half. Newborn with the line out. Goes long. Picked up by Clark. Clark to Dixon. Clark. Longson. Clark again. Barnard. This is good stuff from Cardiff and made. And they have indeed. Something leads in their tracks, but the referee has seen enough of this first half. And to be a half that would be delighting the Cardiff Met bench very much indeed. A converted try from Callum Bradbury. And eight points from the boot of Thomas Morgan has given the team from Wales a ten-point lead. One penalty to come from David McElwain for Leeds Beckett, but it's been mostly Cardiff, and they're just rewards for this long trip from South Wales to Yorkshire is they have a 13 points to three lead at half-time. So Leeds three... Cardiff met 13 at half time here at the Headingley Carnegie Stadium.
Regen zu hören, acht Stunden.
by 58 points to 16 against Northumbria. Callum Bradbury, the try scorer for Cardiff Met, and eight points from the boot of Thomas Morgan. And just the three points from the boot of David McElwain. That's where we stand right now as we start this second half. And it will be Leeds going from right to left as the rain has relented here at Heading Lake. And the left boot of Harry Collier sends us on our way. Is it more of the same from the away side? Or is it Leeds, the one who are uh, looking to try and get back this side? Next score you, you will find will be, is going to be crucial between these two sides. And will give us an idea of which way the points will be going. Back over the border to Wales, or they're going to stay, stay in here in Yorkshire. Mason. Barnard. 22 on the field, which is Johnny Sykes. Picked up by Toby Francis. Sykes. Longson. But went backwards. The referee was happy. Dodds. Sykes. Ball did go to ground there. Is our referee going to stop the play? Indeed he is. And it will be Cardiff. We'll have the putt in. I think Leeds might be a little bit disappointed there. They come out at the traps flying in this uh, in this half. Start of the second half. That's what we're looking to see. Oh, let's look at the uh, this Cardiff scrum, which has been strong. Leeds have lost two of their scrums in there in the first half out of six. So they know the danger of this Cardiff pack. Dumped in by Williams. Cardiff winning it round. Are oh, they win the penalty? It's very much that ace of the pack for this Cardiff Met side. Right now they are playing top drops. Hoof downfield. It's not a bad kick that is either. Simpson launching that one downfield. Over the lead 10 metre line. It looks like it has been very much start as you need to go on for this Cardiff Met side. The Vars won it in 2015. Never had a good record in the, uh, the championship. Winners of the Premier South in 2013. And they did make the final of the championship in 2013. But losing that on that occasion. Williams. That line up wasn't, wasn't happy for our referee. So we're going to have a scrub down instead. To be proud, we are going to reload. So we'll try that one again. New ball. Again, it's a little bit loose as Newborn's lineups have been. Williams. Wayne Wright. Wayne Wright. Good tackle there by Johnny Sykes, but into the 22 card have come. And he sends the, the first score of the second half is going to be absolutely crucial here. But the ball's been knocked forward, so it's not going to go card this way on this occasion. Sykes. Longson, the captain. Martin Dodds, a little dart forward. It's again a couple of feet. Sykes. Now the boot of Collier. Spots a gap, but down the throat of Oliver Glass, and he stays in play. He does well. But into touch he goes, and Leeds will have the line out on the halfway line. Mind you, the Super Rugby Roadshow moves on to Bath next week. 
We're there for the uh, next two occasions, in fact. We'll be uh, back on the Wednesday and then the following Tuesday before we move up to Durham and then Northumbria. We do hope you can come and join us. All the fixtures are on the box website under the Super Rugby section. It'd be great to see them come and watch some stars of the future, no doubt. Newborn. Good take there by Barnard. Newborn again. Getting a few inches as he goes over the halfway line. Picked up by Xavier Valentine. He does well. Now into Cardiff territory they come. It's Toby Francis. Sykes. Pitting to the referee, who's not interested. Collier tries to solve the dummy. And stop in his tracks. Sykes, loose pass, but picked up by Ben Dixon, who gets the scraps and loses possession, and that will be a knock-on advantage. Just looking down at our uh, statistician Connell next to me, who has been working hard, pressing his buttons to uh, keep me reliably informed, and 57% of the possession of this game has gone to the home side, but they've only got three points to show for it. from the Leeds bench. A few minutes into this second half coming on the field is Jordan Marshall taking a place of Ben Dixon at centre. Ouch! Bind! Set! Scrum once more. Tapper there from Collier. Williams. Picked up by Etheridge, the veteran of the Cardiff team. Williams again. Simpson with a cross field pass to put under pressure. Over the head of Hudson. And out into touch and Cardiff will regain possession this time from the line. Set just over the head there until Cardiff will have the line out here. And from 44% of the possession percentage that Cardiff have had in, the, in this tie, they've made more tackles as well and missed more than their opposition. They're the ones right now. Stat may be against them, but the chance to score on the top left of your screen is the most important, and they're the ones with the 10 point advantage. Player down at the moment, it is the Cardiff veteran Ian Etheridge, his third year of first 15 rugby for the Cardiff Met side. Penalty to Cardiff. And now this is a chance to go for goal here and extend their lead to 13, and that's indeed the prudent choice. Not an easy kick, though. 35 metres out, maybe, a little bit more for the angle. It's a decent half chance for the away team. To extend the lead to 13.
Centre on its way, a little bit of a scuff. Has it got the legs? Has it got the legs? It hasn't, and it's based on the right hand side as well. So first miss there for, for Morgan. He, he hit that a little bit like would be catching eight iron a little bit heavy on the on the golf course. He just catch the uh, the grass before the uh, the ball. That's what indeed what happened to Morgan there. Didn't get the distance. We still have a ten point game. Loose pass. Again, this is the range of momentum at least here. That's Henningley and now Cardiff are on the front foot here. Look at the running rugby there from Bradbury, who was the only try scorer in this game. Williams. Simpson. Morgan. Roach out wide to Evans. They're going to run in rugby from the, uh, the low side. Simpson. Williams going to his left hand side. He's a Simpson. On the glass. Just shy of the 22. Simpson. Morgan. Williams. Ball there has been turned over, leads his way. Not a chance to clear, but right against the touchline here, so. Need a bit of a bit of help there from Valentine, maybe. To try to eat into this card of territory. Cross field kick, that can be dangerous. Oh, excellent take that was from Miles Morehouse. Excellent. Lee's trying to have trip in the wall right now. Simpson. Williams. Timothy Phillips. I was offside, and then indeed that was indeed the case, and it'll be chance, the chance for Cardiff to go 13 clear. So a little chance for everybody to have a little bit of a breath. It's become a little bit frantic in this first period of this this half, and God, if I'm going for goal, they're going for the corner. A decent kick to the corner is two. It's about six metres out as well. This is a chance for this Cardiff Met side with a score here to give them a big cushion with 30 minutes to play. And can Rooks, the captain, find, get his arrows right on this occasion? He's two from three. And he gets it right this time. And now here comes a drive. From the home side, from the away side. A little bit scrappy, but Cardiff still have possession with it. I think it's Bradbury at the back. Now goes to ground. There with Wayne Wright, but hoofed down towards our way and leads. Clear their lines, but held in play and put in by Morehouse. Here come Cardiff once more with glass. Simpson, Wayne Wright, Wayne Wright, one man to beat. But the, the reinforcements weren't there for him this time. Did well there to Dan and Wayne Wright, but still picked up by Thomas Morgan. Glass, Roach, leads under big pressure here as one of their main. It's just come down with a hamstring niggle. So it looks like it leads it down to 14 momentarily. Ball was knocked forward, and there'll be a chance to for Leeds to relieve the pressure and send them some downfield with a little bit of afters there from Jack Barnard. Yeah. 
But now a chance for Leeds to relieve the pressure. But we do still have a man down at the moment. Thomas! Yeah. Yeah. away with a little bit of a niggle of his hamstring. And all of a sudden, the uh, possession is now 50 50. Such so has been the relentless pressure, I should say, from Cardiff in this opening 15 minutes of the second half. Leeds have been the ones who have been conceding the penalties. Ten they've given away so far in the 55 minutes of this game. To Cardiff, six. Everything we do, we do it. Good for Come on, Lucy! Come on! 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 We'll have a go with that one on the, for one more time as well. The referee going to be giving instructions to both. Both sets, but more importantly, the, uh, the leads uh, front row, more importantly. He's the one he's not happy with right now, so we're going to move a little bit away there. It's, it's a bit like a ploughed field in that area of the pitch, such as the rain that we've had. So we'll try again. Sykes with the put in. Picked out by Josh Longson, the Leeds captain. Yeah. 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 loose once more. The Leeds are struggling to clear their lines here. So they're on 22, they have a bit of under pressure. It needs a box kick from Sykes, who goes to ground after he kicks it, but it's been sent into touch. And Cardiff can go again from the lead semi-metre line. Still in Cardiff possession. And we have a full time score. Harpery have defeated Exeter by 41 points to 18. We'll be in Harpery in early November on our road show. I'm going on all eight of these clubs before, probably before Christmas. But right now it's the ones who will be celebrating with Cardiff who are 13 3 up with 22 minutes to go and very much been on the front foot in this second half and answering the questions that Leeds have answered, but still no score as of yet in the second half. Pool. Good tackle there from Toby Francis on George Simpson. Williams. Williams spots a little bit of a gap and run up on the blind side with Phillips. Taylor. Evans. Williams. And good defense there from Leeds. Putting Cardiff to the buffers here, so they have to go wide instead. And now it's going loose all of a sudden once more, and Lee's nearly need to ramp up the pressure here against the away side. 
Send them back into their own half. Williams goes to his right. Simpson spots a gap, opened it up. Kay's there, inside his own 22. And now Sutton launches the counter-attack of his own. Beats one man, beats a second. Doesn't get past the third, though. Sykes. Kick from Collier, downfield. It's not going to get into touch, but it's going to put Glass under pressure. And he sends it into touch and leaves it off the line-out, just shy of the card of 22. But well, did say the next score is vital, and we since half time, and we've hit the 60 minute mark, and we still have no score in the second half. <coughs> but we do have a uh, injury. And a time for a couple of drinks as well. It's been a little bit breathless in this second half. Cardiff have asked Leeds lots of questions, and Leeds have had the answers. They have cancelled out the Welsh side who have gone up eight percentage points with possession in, since the start of the second half, but they've had no reward for their endeavour. I think the Leeds bench will be quite pleased with the defensive display the home side has done in the second half, but they need to go on the fr front foot now. With Newborn, goes long, picked up there by Martin Dodds. And now the drive coming from the Yorkshire side. At the back, and they continue to drive forward as well. Into the 22, they come. Heaved on by the, the few in the crowd here at Henningley. Continuing the heave hole, they've done well, they've gained a good 20 yards or so. With Longson at the back. Longson continuing to go forward. forward. Excellent stop there from Yorkshire side. Can they go over the line? They can see the whitewash now. Longson still there, Dan. Still balling, Dan. Still balling, Dan. Is he there? He goes to ground. It's a penalty try instead. Given and leads are back in the game. And the referee will go to his pocket and hand out a yellow card as well to number 12, Jack Wright. And all of a sudden, five-point game. Cardiff down to 14 men. Leeds will have a sniff. <laughs> Mikel went to add the extras. Penalty try given. But excellent endeavour from this lead side as they reduce the arrears now down to three. Around 18 minutes or so left to play. And there's only three points in it. Leeds 10. Cardiff 12. Cardiff 13. I do back your part. So, three point game. How do Cardiff respond? Cardiff Met, how do they respond here? Simpson with the restart. The Yorkshire side with a one-man advantage as well. Really have been under the cost for the first 20 minutes of this second half. And, but now they're sensing something special here. They have that one-man advantage, just to remind you. Cardiff Met continue to ask the questions that they've put to this lead side for the first 20 minutes of this second half. They must be camped in their own 22. A bit of a deflection came off that from a Cardiff player. And it will be Leeds who will have the line out. Front middle, front middle! Oh. 
Good take again from Martin Dodds. Inside pass from Collier. Sykes. McCowan high into the sky. Only two men back from Cardiff. Excellent tackle that was from Johnny T. Williams, Simpson, Wayne Wright. Simpson, A cheeky pass to Bradbury, one of the try scorers. For this Cardiff side. Williams. This is Dombrot. Wayne Wright, Newport Quent Dragons player. With 15 minutes to go. Evans. Paul. Glass. Williams. Simpson. Morgan. Into midfield. They come. Williams again to his left hand side. A little bit of football there from Miles Morehouse, who retains possession well. Simpson. There's a man on the back three at the back there for Leeds. And Cajun have a little go himself. And a good pass that was as well to McAlway. The ball has been knocked forward and Cardiff will have to put it. Not an advantage here. Should they need it? But I think they're going to have a little run themselves. Bradley, he's a danger man there. He's the second roller for Cardiff. We saw what he did in the first half. Simpson, Roach. Roach going to ground. So we have another man down for Leeds right now. So we are playing with 14 aside currently, but we are going to stop play so he can receive some attention. Game has woken up in the second half. Very much a war of attrition. For the, much of this second half, the first 20 minutes, and the Leeds defence, well, fair play to them, it was like a cul-de-sac. There was no way through. They held out well, and they got their just rewards for that penalty try on the hour mark to only reduce this, the arrears to three points. Martin Dodds has been excellent in the Leeds line. He's the moment of receiving retention and he's going to have to leave the field. Cardiff about three minutes away to going back to their full quota. Sykes. Picked up by Longson. Stopped in his tracks by Wayne Wright. Sykes. McAlwain into the grey cloud here in Yorkshire. Bit of a bump away. And that's surely going to be a knock on. Indeed, it will be. And Cardiff will have the put in with about 12 or so minutes left to play.
with the put in. Evans. Ball kicked, blocked by the Leeds line, who's blocked by Collier, who has put at the Cardiff side under real pressure here. But it was some scramble defence. And they're going behind their line. Remember, there's still a man down, remember, as well. Bradbury. Good tackle that was, but legally, and a card is out. And Leeds will probably finish this game with 14. Stuart Smith from Leeds has been sent to the bin for that tackle. And now we have a 14 game side, but Jack Wright of Cardiff is expected to come back on in probably about a minute or so. So it's Cardiff will be the ones who will be finishing the game with a one-man advantage and, of course, a three-point advantage as well. Simpson downfield. Just gets to the Leeds 10-metre line. picks up Simpson Taylor Williams Etheridge Williams again Simpson Morehouse Bradbury benefit danger man for Cardiff Gets over the game line once more. He's had an excellent game. That's the Cardiff from before. Morehouse. Simpson. Advantage to come. Leads his way. There might only be a knock-on advantage of that, so they have a little run themselves. As Charlie Venables was taken down. Collier. Stopped in his tracks by Morehouse. Got a tap tackle on Kay. Wrong side of the field, this for Leeds. They need to get up there as soon as they can. Try and level this tie up from a drop goal. But we've got an army of bodies on the floor there. That stopped Collier in his tracks. Well taken there by right uh, by Jordan Roberts, who's on the field. Well, of course an offside, but not on this occasion. And Bradbury has been the jackhammer on the Cardiff side today. Morgan tipped forward, but blocked. Still roared on by the Leeds fans here. This, also, this game is still wide open, and why not? Tackle on Alid Evans. Penalty to Leeds. Arrival. We stop the contest. This one downfield. And look at the time as well. Seven or so minutes left to play. Downfield, indeed it is, in towards the 22, pressure on the away team. And they're ringing the changes as well. They're back to their full quota of 15 on the away side. Leeds will probably finish this game down with 14. Well taken by Teague. The 
The referee's got his arm up there. They've probably an apart. It's come here. It's going to be a penalty as well. To Leeds, they can level this tie up. With five or so minutes left to play. Well, they'd go for the draw. But I feel Harry Collier is looking for something completely different here. He's, he's eyeing up the corner. Well, why not indeed? Interesting call. Well, he's got the first part of the equation correct. Just on the five metre line, one run disadvantage. They could have easily tied the game up. It was a, a fair chance. Penalty could level the, the tie up with five minutes to play, and then who knows? But they're going for all seven. Why not, indeed? Teague. Good defence from Cardiff, though. Excellent defence. Oh, there's a chance here for Roy Mason. One metre out. Picked up by Marshall. Marshall, can he get the ball down? That's how close they are. Ball spits out. And still now it's a foot race, but out into touch it goes. And will, will lead through that chance. They'll have another go from the Cardiff 10 metre line. have it but it was done illegally and it will be a free kick leads his way and now they've been roared on by the partisan crowd here at Henningley who are sensing something special here Longson Sykes surveying his options he goes left with Collier oh interception interception and Simpson is away Simpson can put the game to bed here George Simpson for the line George Simpson, the try scorer for Leeds. For Cardiff, Matt, do beg your pardon. And that is game, set, and match. And the points will be headed back over the border. Keep your eyes on Simpson there, green boots. Number 10 at the bottom left of your screen. Reads the game well here. Thank you very much, and he's away. George Simpson, the ex Harlequins player, as may have put this game to bed. And to send all the points back over the Seven Bridge. Ten clear. Thank you very much indeed. Twenty points to ten. Cardiff lead only a couple of minutes now left to play. And will lead through that chance. They had a chance to level this game up with a penalty from just inside the Cardiff 22. But could have made the game 13 all and then. Who knows, they, they took the gamble, went for all seven. And on this occasion, they landed with Snake Eyes. Did they get the conversion, guys? Connor Swan, now on a scrub half. Again, the ball is a little bit shaky in the air. And leads Beckett to more half of the put in at the scrum with a run of about two or so minutes left to play. 
Credit was due to this lead side. They stood up to uh, the Cardiff Met team, especially in the second half, the first 20 minutes or so, where they seem to be capped out in their own 22. Come back in the game with that penalty try. Got a chance then, up for 13 or Maybe they'll rue that chance. On the balance of play, Cardiff have had more possession. They've made more tackles. I think their scrum has been really been their ace in the pack today. As we've tried to wind the clock down, so it's going to be the second victory for this Cardiff Met side who will be telling all the rivals in this Super Rugby that they're here to come and challenge for the title this year. Just to remind you, we're in Bath next week. delighted with their efforts here today. Fair play to Leeds, they were resilient for much of the side, but one mistake in midfield towards the end of this game saw Jordan Simpson go over the line. Callum Bradbury scored in the first half and ten points in the boot of Thomas Morgan. A penalty try and a three-point penalty from David McElwain is what the score you see on your screen all adds up to. The final score here at Headingley, Leeds back at ten, Cardiff met twenty. So we're going to try and get you some reaction very shortly if you stay with us. My ruined colleague, Lati Van Praag, is out in the middle of the field trying to get the reaction from some of the Cardiff Met coaching staff and players. And just to run you through the tail of the tape, as it were, for this game, Cardiff Met had most of the possession in this tie, 52 to 48. They conceded less penalties, 11 to 10. They made more tackles than Leeds. They did miss a couple more, though, than the, than the home side, 29 to 27. They won nine lineouts out of 12 and won four scrums and didn't lose any Leeds. Won seven scrums, lost two. Won 12 lineouts and lost three. But you feel it was towards the end of the game. You could sense that Leeds had the momentum as well towards the end of this tie. Especially when they got to within three points and they maybe ruin that missed opportunity to go for goal to tie the game up and then who knows what would happen in the dying minutes. But a mistake from Harry Collier in midfield saw George Simpson with the inter intercepted pass to get in over the try line. And that was the difference between the two sides in the end. Leeds back at 10. Cardiff met 20. Is the full time here at Headingley. So, as I mentioned, as both sets of sides begin to wind down, okay, we're just going to get our cameraman down there as well who's de-rigged from the gantry here to uh, to get a camera out in the midfield of the of the pitch so we can get some reaction from the, the winning side who will be relatively pleased with their efforts here in Leeds this afternoon. Very much started on the front foot in the first half, asked all the questions in the second half but Leeds had the answers and Leeds with an a couple of counter-attacks were in sniffing distance of the Welsh side. But a gift for George Simpson got them over the line and gives them a 10-point cushion. 2010, they'll take back over the Seven Bridge this evening. 
and no doubt a top position in the Super Rugby League table come this evening, come tonight. Ranjit, the Hartbury have been Exeter as well this afternoon. We had confirmation that you saw that one on your screen. And we'll be in Hartbury in a couple of weeks' time. We're in Bath seven days from now. And then we'll have a triple header for you in the following week, where we're in, we're in Bath on a Tuesday evening, Wednesday night in Durham, and a Friday night in Newcastle at the Northumbria University. We'll be seeing many of those games on Friday nights. And hopefully we'll be seeing a few more classic games of rugby like this one. We've seen two great ones so far in this Super Rugby when we saw Loughborough and Exeter last week in front of 3,000 people at Loughborough's stadium by 20 points to 11. And we've seen another great game here today at Headingley as Leeds Beckett up. have lost to Cardiff Met by 20 points to 10. So as you, can see, as you can see, my colleague Lottie van Praag has just grabbed Ryan Roach, the Cardiff Met captain, and we'll just get them two guys prepared, and I'll throw you down to them. Just to remind you as well where we are with the television cameras will be over the next few weeks. We're in Bath next Wednesday, then the following week we're at Bath on the Tuesday, and then Durham on the Wednesday, and New Northumbria on the Friday. But Lottie is with the... Cardiff Met Captain Ryan Roach, and let's hear their thoughts. Well, Ryan, the score speaks for itself. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank great you. win. Really hard fought match there as well. Um, so, how do you think the team played today? Um, it was hard fought. Credit to Leeds Beckett, they stuck it out all the way through to the end. But, I mean, we dug in. It shows that our team's got character. There's a lot to prove on, and there's a lot to improve in training next week. But. You know, it's, it's, we've won two out of two, so I can't complain too much. Absolutely, and obviously you didn't know much about the team going yeah. in. Um, how, how do you think they were actually on the day? Uh, obviously they had an annoying loss to uh, Leeds University last week, so we knew they were going to come out firing. But um, like I said, they, they played well, they stuck at it, and in, uh, in their defence they, they was brilliant. And they kept causing us problems, but we kept going all the way till the end and fortunately that last try in the end we uh, sealed the deal. So Absolutely, and obviously last week we had um, a great... Uh, a win last week so you're going to bring it into the next one yeah we got Hartbury next week that's going to be a tough one I think they won today against Exeter 40 odd points so you know they're going to be a, it's going to be a hard team to beat but I believe in our squad and, you know we go back to training next week train well and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get the win next week as well perfect thank you so much Ryan well that's all we've got time for here um, and tune in next week when we take on Bath and Loughborough so thanks so much thank you so much Ryan thanks